Just say is, if you're running for president, do you support or desire for a per cap payment being made? If so, when would you expect to do this? Misty? treasure the past couple of years and looking at um, how gaming operates not only within our tribe but within other tribal governments. It'd be nice to have a per cap. Whether or not the Pawnee Nation can afford it is another, is another um, issue. At this time, the Pawnee Nation cannot afford it. I mean, we have programs that um, are operating on grants and contracts and they request supplemental budgets from the tribe that money that's paid from TDC goes into the tribal operating fund and that's what supplements our tribal programs. If we were to do a per cap, we wouldn't have some of the services that we have um, that are afforded to tribal, tribal members. Um, elderly assistance <coughs> programs, those, those types of things, they're all supplemented from reserve accounts. And the gaming funds that come in from TDC, that's, that's where the funds go. I mean, they're not going into anybody's pocket. They're all used to supplement tribal programs. So I think it would, it would hinder us to have a per cap. Mr. Horstein. <clears throat> well, I'm for per cap, and I think we should have it. Uh, one of the biggest problems I think with that we have is that TDC, from what, see, I'm not in, in, in the office like they are. I'm out there like you. I'm kind of like just outside looking in. But I do see some things and a lot of people do talk and we know some stuff. We're not, we're not no uh, dumb Indians, we know a lot of things. But I think one of the things that needs to be uh, taken care of is we gotta find out what's inside of TDC. I don't think nobody's telling us. I don't think nobody knows. There's a, there's, we asked for a budget from them. We have yet to get one. The council member, from what I've read of the articles, council is over TDC. And I believe that they should take charge of that and start going in there and say, hey, we want to find out where our money is for our people. And I just think that, you know, and then once we be able to find out all that stuff, and I believe you're going to find that we can't have per cap. Even if it starts out at $100 or something like that, that'll make somebody, your Thank people, you. investors, know that you're getting some money. Thank you, sir. One minute. You know, I believe in, in per cap, but when you're building a business, you need to build it on solid ground. It's like building a house on sand or building a house on a solid foundation. If you build a house on sand and floods and wind come, that house moves and shifts and eventually will collapse. But if you build that house on a solid foundation, it will stand the test of time. And that's what we need to do with our businesses. That's what we need to do with gaming. To build it on a solid, solid foundation so that in time we can start giving per cap, start with the elders and work our way down. But if we don't build it solidly and make sure it's sound, then we'll never get per cap. But building it on a solid foundation where we make sure that it lasts and it's stable, then that per cap can come. Thank you.